Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. I don't know why I always point up when I say that, but I do. Anyway, yeah, so Rachel is my real name. There you go. I'm a reader and a writer. And today I am here to do my first week wrap up, second week TBR sort of thing. And it has been a week. <laughs> wow. Mentally, I feel drained by this week. In a good way, though. So for reading, I guess I should have had this pulled out already. Uh, so I got a few more chapters into Inherit the Flame, and then I was... Mm... <sighs> and then I gave in because I really, really wanted to read the Bone Ship's Wake. So I am a third of the way into the Bone Ship's Wake and loving this. Really enjoying the pace of this and where it's picked up. It's uh, It picked up about a year from the call of the Bone Ships and directly dealing with the events that happened in that. So I can't say too much about it, but still really loving this. And once I finish this, I do plan to go back to this one and finish this one as well. And then after that, I picked up some novellas from the library because Kristen over at Kristen L. Reads did a novella challenge to read different novellas that can be nominated this year. And so I checked out a whole bunch of them. I am not certain what I'm going to pick up. Novellas are just fun, though, because they're fast reads, and they make me feel accomplished. I finished a book, especially when I don't always have a lot of time to read. It's nice to be able to get through a novella quickly. That is my reading wrap-up. For my writing wrap-up, or my not writing wrap-up, as I am doing right now, the project with my husband is progressing. We've been filling out lots of paperwork, so... That has been very exciting. And it, in this project, we have six books we have to read together, and we've read the first two. Finished the second book last week. He's finished the third book, and I started the third book. I am a slow reader. If you have not figured that out by my numbers, I am a slow reader. I really am. But yeah, I'm very excited. So, I mean, it explains why I haven't gotten too far into the books that I'm reading for fun because I am focused on some other things right now. And I do hope to tell you guys one day because this is, this project is exciting for me. And for my other media wrap up, again, so really focused, not too much really to report. So for TV, I watched two episodes of Samurai Champloo. Champloo? I watched two episodes of Samurai Champloo. This is my first watch through of it. I just, I didn't watch a lot of anime growing up. And so my husband has been sharing more of his favorites recently. And I'm enjoying the series. I just don't watch a lot of TV. So it depends what mood I'm in, what I want to pick up. But I, I'm enjoying this. And I'm looking forward to continuing on the adventure, finding the Samurai That Smells Like Sunflowers. For podcasts, I've had two that I really enjoyed this week. One was, I like to listen to one called Ear Hustle that is presented by inmates of San Quentin and also more recently some ex-inmates, some people who have been released. And they're just talking about what life is like in prison and what different terms mean. This episode that I listened to this past week was about Camp Hope which was a camp where kids could go spend time with their dads in jail. And these are dads who are, are not in, in trouble in jail, so they have a good record. And just it, it really was talking about how the attachment of the kids with their fathers and how that works, about building the relationship as much as you can while you guys are together, and how each relationship can be very, very different. And I, this episode actually made me cry like a baby. I was driving and I was just crying 
because just listening to the kids and what they were saying and then the dads and what they were saying and then the staff that do the podcast and how they see things, it, it was really good. If you haven't heard of Ear Hustle, it's really fun and really interesting to listen to. It kind of gives you a new perspective on life behind bars. And then the other podcast that I really enjoyed was uh, World Building for Masochists. I don't remember all the hosts' names, but it, they it, they were interviewing Marie Brennan and Alice Helms, who are the writing duo for The Mask of Mirrors or, and The Liar's Knot, and they were talking about history in world building. Basically really pointed out something that kind of irks me in a lot of fantasy novels where people would be like, 3,000 years ago, this great event happened, and then that's all people talk about is that one event of 3,000 years ago. <sighs> Unless you're immortal, and that is like the only big significant event that has happened, your <sighs> mortals are going to be talking about things that are closer to, like, oh, hey, two years ago we had this law happen, and this it's made bread harder to find. But you don't get a lot of that kind of world building in the books. And so th that's, that's what this episode was talking about was how to layer history and world building along with current events to kind of show a more rich tapestry. And I haven't read the books that they've written together yet, but the interview really made me more interested to read it as well as I keep hearing Angela over at the science literature Alliance rave about this series. So maybe this year I'll get to it. But yeah, just a quick check-in because I haven't been doing too much. How did your first full week of January go? <laughs>